it will be manually done so that this will be done for Galaxy S6 Edge as you can see and it will be done through an official way which is through Samsung keys and it will be through done through Odin but we're gonna make it on Windows because well you can do it on Mac but there is um, uh, I, I better I prefer doing that on Windows so let's boot it to Windows okay so I'll be using parallel desktops and yeah we're using the latest Windows software operating system which is Windows 10 so anyway first of all we have to what you have to do is to install the 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 um, everything needed for Samsung devices that is Samsung drivers and um, next thing you need is Odin and uh, probably the latest one is should be should work okay so well you have to connect the device of course and um, let me see. Uh, there is one. Okay. Here are some instructions from sammobile.com. And you can see instructions that instruct the firmware file. So you have to download from sammobile.com. And then you open Odin. Then reboot phone in download mode. Which we're gonna do. and. Connect phone and wait until you get a blue sign in in Odin. Add the firmware file to APPDA. Make sure reportation is not ticked. Click the start button, sit back and wait a few minutes. Okay, so, well, I'm of course a little bit nervous because, well, I've done it many times before. But, you know, every time I make, so it's... Of course, you're taking some kind of risk, so, well, let's open it with administrator. Okay, so, second thing, we have to ensure that it's added, the device is added, but it's not. So, I'm gonna plug in the cable again. Okay, it was plugged in. And... Still, it doesn't show up nothing, so... Okay, I made it again. Really no sign. Okay, now it showed up. It should look like this, Galaxy S3 Edge with a device icon, this kind, and then. So, but the main point that we see here added. Okay, so I have downloaded the, the file, then extract Odin zip code, open. Now I have to reboot the phone in download mode. So first of all, I need it to turn it off. Okay, so now I will have to, to boot it from, okay, so I booted the phone into download mode, you can see here, so what we have to do is to connect the phone and add the firmware, so here we have to You have to press the volume up because it will continue. So you can see this, and then then we're searching for our file, and the PDA. So this is AP, 
and sorry so files and this is the file this, that is the full name it's for Galaxy S6 Edge and then I do open so that was now it says please wait so we have to wait a little while a little bit wait so one is okay can see yeah and we can see the scrolling it shows that it's searching for something so well it's done so we can see the binary size here we can see this add f file added so we added what we did we added the firmware file to appda in this version of odin you can see that it's ap so make sure repartition is not ticked so in this version there's no such yes so repartition is not ticked and what we do now we do we click a start button so let's do it so i think i'm gonna put it here And you can see that it's make, taking making a progress. Yeah, I'm sorry for my bad English. Well, it's the first time that I make a quite a long review. So <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, really. And of course, this is still a quite expensive phone for me. So, and we can see changes here in Odin so progression is still going on well I'm not sure if it will be really useful if I put like this But I guess I'll focus on both things separately. So we can see downloading is going on. It takes a while. Well, and here we hear, we see here the progress. So as you can see both 
progress on the device Galaxy S6 Edge and here they are moving quite simultaneously. Well, it looks like it's almost finished. So Oh, it's failed. Something went wrong. So you just open the flash file with WinRAR and then you find the file called hidden.image then you you extract it to desktop or whatever you want and you rename it with tar then what you do after what we have previously felt flashing so also you need to if you have windows so you have to untick height extensions for no i'm sorry uh, there is just one thing but height extensions for unknown files so then you have to rename it and what you do next you just put this file here and you click start button you can see the image size is very little and what we see here is that the system is being updated so I'm just a little bit worried if this will be the totally restored system or maybe it will be Android 6.0.0 so we'll see it took me a little bit time maybe half an hour to find out the solution so I guess the solution works perfectly.
Okay, so it's almost finished. <laughs> the last program takes really long. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's probably just finishing the whole system updating. By the way, it's in Lithuanian language, so it, that means that Android system version is being updated and optimization. And now we can see opening programs. We have lots of things doing here, which I cannot read. And it's done, right? It's, it's written done. So... Oh, it put, popped up. Oh. Well, yes, it's... <laughs> Let me check. Okay. But where is So yes, it's Android point marshmallow. <laughs> Some warning here. 